son? Has anyone seen a toad? A boy named Neville's lost one. No. Oh, are you doing magic? Let's see then. <coughs> Sunshine daisies, buttermellow. Turn this stupid fat rat yellow. Are you sure that's a real spell? Well, it's not very good, is it? Of course, I've only tried a few simple ones myself, but they've all worked for me. Holy cricket, you're Harry Potter. I'm Hermione Granger. And you are? Um, Ron Weasley. Pleasure. You've got dirt on your nose, by the way. Did you know? Just there. Hermione Granger? Oh, no. OK, relax. Mental, that one. I'm telling you. OK. Gryffindor! <laughs> Number 713 had him sold. She needs to sort out her priorities. In Guardian Leviosa. Look, stop, stop, stop. You're going to take someone's eye out. Besides, you're saying it wrong. It's Leviosa, not Leviosa. You do it then if you're so clever. Go on, go on. Wingardium Leviosa. See here, everyone. This Granger's done it. <laughs> it's Leviosa, not Leviosa. <laughs> She's a nightmare, honestly. No wonder she hasn't got any friends. <laughs> I think she heard you. <gasps> what? Hermione! She doesn't know! Hurry up! Swish and flick! Wingardium Leviosa! Explain yourselves, both of you. Well, what it is, it's my fault, Professor McGonagall. What? Who's Nicholas Flamel? I don't know. Brother Charlie. For information, happy Christmas. I think we had a bad influence on her. Look at you, playing with your cards. Pathetic. We've got final exams coming up soon. I'm ready. Ask me any question. All right. What are the three most crucial ingredients in a forgetfulness potion? I forgot. And what, may I ask, do you plan to do if this comes up in the final exam? Copy off you? No, you won't. Phosphorus stones, it'll transform any metal into pure gold and produces the elixir of life, which will make the drink for immortal. Immortal? It means you'll never die. I know what it means. Picken. Fifty! Student, but I assure you it is perfect. Good afternoon. Oh. You're a little scary sometimes. You know that. Brilliant, but scary. Now I can relax! Hermione! Now what are we gonna do? Just relax! Hermione pays attention in her... The cool use of us were in grave peril. Oh. Look, everyone. There's no one on the Gryffindor team had to buy that. No one asked your opinion, you filthy little mudblood. She'll pay for that one, Malfoy. Eat slugs! <laughs> 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 you okay, Ron? 
on. That's horrible. It's not true, so I saw. And it'll be dangerous. Even with a proper one, it's too risky. You can. He sounds like a. D they must have been looking for something. She was found near the library. Uh, um, uh, <clears throat> well, welcome back, Hermione. It's good to be back. I'm warning you, Hermione. Keep that bloody beast of yours away from Scabbers, or I'll turn it into a tea cosy. It's a cat, Ronald. What do you expect? It's in his nature. A cat? Is that what they told you? Looks more like a pig with hair, if you ask me. That's rich, coming from the owner of that smelly old shoe brush. It's a right, Crookshanks. You just ignore the mean little boy. Harry! Even Scabbers enjoyed himself. You know the Egyptians used to worship cats? Yeah, along with the dung beetles. Who do you think that is? Professor R.J. Lupin. You know everything. How is it she knows everything? It's on a suitcase, Ronald. Oh. She's black, won't they? No. What a load of rubbish. Where did you come from? <laughs> Me? Been here all this time. You the beyond? I... So, uh, you're gonna suffer, mm -hmm. but you're gonna be happy about it. <laughs> It's meant to be the most haunted building in Britain. Did I mention that? <laughs> Twice. Uh, do you want to move a bit closer? Huh? To the Shrieking Shack. Oh, oh actually, I'm, I'm... I'm fine here. Don't your family sleep in, a uh, one room? Shut your mouth, Malfoy. Ooh, not very friendly. Boys, I think it's time we teach Weaselby how to respect his superiors. <laughs> I hope you don't mean yourself. <laughs> Harry! <laughs> Bloody hell, Harry. <laughs> that was not funny. <laughs> Your soul as dry as the pages of the books to which you so desperately cleave. <laughs> to anyone understood? That felt good. Not good. Brilliant. really painful. So painful. They, uh, they might chop it. I'm sure Madame Pompadour will fix it in a heartbeat. It's too late. It's ruined. Wake up! Wake up, Donald! Bloody hell. Where am I? Oh, girl. Very well spotted. Can we run <laughs> off? It's one thing for a bloke to show up alone. For a girl, it's just sad. I won't be going alone because, believe it or not, someone's asked me. And I said yes. God. Bloody hell. She's lying, right? If you say so. No, of course. Ruddy pumpkin head, isn't he? I don't think it was the books that had him going to the library. Go and get drinks. She cared to join us. No, would not care to join you and Victor. What's got your wand in a knot? He's a damn strap. You're fraternising with the enemy. The enemy? Who was it wanting his autograph? Besides, the whole point of the tournament is. In How dare you? Besides, I can take care of myself. I doubt it. He's way too old. What? What? That's what you think? Yeah, that's what I think. You know the solution then, don't you? Go on. Next time there's a ball, pluck up the courage and ask me before somebody else does. And not as a last resort. Well, that's, that's, I mean, that's just completely off the point. Harry. Where have you been? Never mind, off to bed, both of you. They get scary when they get older. Ron, you spoiled everything! Right. <laughs> to me. 
I'll do the introduction. That's all. Hermione, you're honestly the most wonderful person I've ever met. If I'm ever rude to you again... I may have gone back to normal. I'll go easy on Thanks, Ronald. <laughs> Come on, Ron. Come on, Come on, Ron. Ron. <laughs> Come on, Ron. Come on, Ron. One second. You're up. <laughs> Thank you. Shut up. I let her do that. It's a good man, isn't it? One person couldn't feel all that. It'd explode. Just because you've got the emotional range of a teaspoon. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see your faces. Yeah. <laughs> Try it, John. Oh, thanks, thanks Miss. Perfect. Just what. Robbie, that is not polite. We could do something. We talked about this. You do not grab, do you? That's your new friend, Hermione. <laughs> Grope! Grope! You're right. Fine. Just needs a firm hand, is all. I think you've got. You just stay away from her, all right? I told him I was hungry and wanted some sweets. Of course, they told me to bugger off and ate the lot themselves. That was clever, Ron. That's been known to happen. It was br- Got a bit of toothpaste. <laughs> Will you stop eating? Your best friend is missing. Oi! Turn around, you lunatic. Sort of urge us all to be brave and strong in these troubled times. Mm. Slughorn thinks he's a genius. Believe me, Professor. I've been asking myself. Hermione's got nice skin. Wouldn't you say? As skin goes, I mean. I've never really thought about it. But I suppose, yeah. Very nice.
Mr. Weasley's well tend. Shut up. B. I was completely boggled, wasn't I? All of it. Here's his brother. A lonely winding road at twilight. Midnight. Mum always said midnight. But twilight's fine. Better, actually. Come on. It's a sort of. Molly and I have been thinking. It doesn't matter if we find a Horcrux. What do you mean? Unless we can destroy it. So, we were thinking... Well, Ron was thinking it was Ron's idea. It's completely brilliant. You destroyed Tom Riddle's diary with the Basilisk fact, right? Well, me and Hermione think we know where we might find one. OK? OK, but take this. That way you can find me when you get back. Harry talks in his sleep. Have you noticed? No, of course not. Maybe he's gone to the room requirement. It doesn't show up on the lab, does it? You said that last year. That's right, I, I did. Let's go. Brilliant. <laughs> when he killed Snape. We? Jumper. Yeah. Let me see. Here they come. <laughs>